Welcome to VL Extras, brought to you by Visual Learners, your go-to channel for in-depth explorations of groundbreaking innovations. The way we access information online is on the verge of a revolution. For the past two decades, search engines like Google and Bing have been our primary gateways to the internet. Today, we dive into Perplexity AI, a revolutionary search engine founded by Aravind Srinivas that is set to challenge Google's dominance. Aravind Srinivas, a young man from India, dreamt of pushing the boundaries of artificial intelligence. He was born in Chennai, a small town in India. Take cricket, for example, which is the most popular sport in India and is especially beloved in Chennai. For his family and friends, watching cricket was not just about entertainment. They geek out over the statistics, like knowing the averages, strike rates, and economy rates of each player by heart. This drive to learn and understand shaped his education. He worked hard to gain admission to the IIT Madras, India's equivalent of MIT. It is one of the eight public institutes of eminence of India, as one of the Indian Institutes of Technology, IIT Madras is also recognized as an institute of national importance. After completing his studies, he left his homeland to pursue a PhD in the US at UC Berkeley. Little did he know, this journey would lead to the creation of a groundbreaking company. Movies like Pirates of Silicon Valley and The Social Network sparked his interest in entrepreneurship early on. But once he arrived at Berkeley, he realized that most of the people doing startups were college kids. He couldn't take that path anymore. He was searching for examples of entrepreneurs who came from academia to take inspiration from. His work got the attention of OpenAI co-founder John Shulman, which led to an internship and later a full-time research scientist role. Here, Srinivas honed his skills and witnessed the immense power of large language models. But it's at his internship at DeepMind that he grew his entrepreneurial ambitions. Inspired by the potential of these models, Srinivas decided to take a bold step. He envisioned a future where search wasn't just about finding information, but about understanding it. I grew up in India, studied in one of the IITs there, and I was really into algorithms, programming, ever since the beginning. A friend of mine like, told me about a machine learning contest, which I didn't even know what machine learning was. What all they told me was, hey, there's this data set, and you can figure out a way to predict the output given the input. And it was fun, and I won the contest, and I didn't spend a lot of time on it, and it came more naturally. So I decided to go deeper into it. I went and did my PhD in Berkeley on AI and deep learning. I worked at OpenAI in 2018, in summer as a research intern. I thought I was good. Okay, I did a lot really well in India. I came to Berkeley. I'm like definitely one of the top AI to PhD students. And then I went to OpenAI and I felt like really bad because people were so much better than me. It was a big reality check that, okay, I could improve a lot more in programming. I could improve a lot more in first principles thinking, my clarity of thought. After an internship at OpenAI in 2018, that was when GPT-1 was published. We realized that there is this new form of learning using all the internet data and learning from it. And I figured that was going to be more important. So I told my advisor that this is the right thing to do. We should go work on this. And he was actually like pretty open-minded and said, okay, you know what? Like I'm not a specialist here, but let's try. I mean, if this is the next thing, the best way to learn a new topic is to force yourself to teach it to others. So we spent a lot of time, holidays, weekends, just learning and coding and just understanding all these things. And we did this for two years. All that helped me find a new research topic, which is how to combine generative AI and RL together, which is what results in these amazing technologies like ChatGPT. ChatGPT is not just predicting the next word on the internet, it's doing that and then making sure that you know how to communicate with humans. I'd always been interested in entrepreneurship because I've been in the Bay Area. I watched this TV show Silicon Valley, which is pretty real, but never really found an example of an academic turned entrepreneur that I really resonated with. It was all like undergrad dropouts. At one point, I was in the library in the late nights reading books, and then I stumbled upon this book for the story of Larry and Sergey. In the book, How Google Works, Larry had written the foreword on it. 
I had only two career pathways for myself. It was either to be a professor or an entrepreneur. And the reason is that no other career pathway would let me execute on my own vision. I would have to be working on someone else's vision. I wouldn't be able to bring out what the ideas I have in my head into reality. Perplexity, an AI-powered search engine startup looking to take on Google, raising $74 million in a round led by some big names. Deidre Bosa spoke to its CEO for today's Tech Check. Hi, Dee. Hey, Tyler. So Google has been so far dominant for search for decades that few startups have been able to even raise significant capital to, to compete with them. Until now, that is. Perplexity, backed by some, as you mentioned, very high-profile investors, from Jeff Bezos to NVIDIA, believes the generative AI shift has led to a paradigm shift that creates a new opening in search. I spoke to CEO Aravind Srinivas earlier this morning on what's changing the age of Gen AI. Have a listen. Search has been about 10 blue links for the last, like, 20 years. And 10 blue links was always a hack. At the end of the day, people just wanted an answer. The concept of answer engine existed even in the late 90s when the internet was exploding. Ask Jeeves was an answer engine. In fact, like uh, many, many Googlers used to like come from Ask Jeeves and join Google at that time uh, because the 10 blue links was the concept that actually worked with the technology that existed at that time. Uh, and um, so what perplexity does is a paradigm shift in search. It's moving search from links to answers. In 2022, Srinivas founded Perplexity AI. His vision, a search engine that combines the factual accuracy of Wikipedia with the conversational fluency of chat GPT. In just 18 months, Perplexity AI has attracted 10 million monthly active users and achieved a valuation of $1 billion. With backing from influential investors like Jeff Bezos, Nvidia, and Tabi Lutke, Perplexity AI has swiftly reached unicorn status. Perplexity AI uses advanced AI algorithms to understand and process user queries. It provides AI-generated summaries and pinpoint answers, setting new standards in the search industry. Whether you're looking for detailed explanations or quick answers, Perplexity AI has got you covered. Building Perplexity AI wasn't without its challenges. From technical hurdles to market competition, Aravind and his team faced numerous obstacles. Despite these challenges, Perplexity AI has risen to prominence, reaching unicorn status in under two years. This rapid growth is a testament to the platform's innovative approach and the dedication of its team. Perplexity AI is not just a company. It's a movement towards a smarter, more connected world. It is a testament to the transformative power of innovation. It's a game changer in the search landscape, and its impact is only beginning to unfold. Stay tuned for more episodes of VL Extras as we continue to explore the cutting edge of visual learning. Leave us your thoughts in the comment section. Like and subscribe to get more updates. See you next time on Visual Learners.